<laughs> Miss Hacker intends to join the Badger protest. Oh, I thought it was over. No, she and her boyfriend are going to conduct a 24-hour Save the Badgers vigil in Hayward Spinney unless a protection order is restored. And they're putting their announcement out to the press at 5 p.m. Minister's daughter in Badger protest vigil. Mm. That's a little embarrassing, but it's not too serious. Sir Humphrey, I think the minister is going to be more than a little embarrassed. What do you mean? Minister's daughter in nude badger protest. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, yes, Miss Hacker and her boyfriend will be, uh, uh, that is, will not not be. I mean, <laughs> yes. Do you mean starkers, Bernard? Uh, yes, sir. I see. Well, this puts a different complexion on it. Yeah, especially in this weather. <laughs> but in true journalistic terms, this makes it a big story. Front page with photograph. Uh, Something the matter? Well? <laughs> well, shall we say a, a slight embarrassment, Minister? How slight? Well, without wishing in any sense to overstate the case or cause undue alarm, nevertheless, the fact remains... Oh, come remains on, Humphrey, out with it. Minister, I have a confession to make. Oh, that's a change. <laughs> oh. Come on, Humphrey. Make a clean breast of it. Not the happiest of phrases under the circumstances. <laughs> How do you mean? I have to confess that the badges in Hayward Spinney may turn out to be a somewhat bigger story than we thought. Oh, no. Don't tell me they're going to have kittens. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the badgers who are going to have kittens, Minister. <laughs> There's going to be a 24-hour protest vigil in Hayward Spinney. Yeah, well, you told me it wouldn't be very newsworthy. No, it's slightly different, Minister. It's to be conducted by... Uh, by... Uh, a uh, girl, student, and her boyfriend. Well, just the two of them? Yes. Well, they don't matter, do they? A pair of irresponsible thereabouts. Well, they might matter to some people. Nonsense, Bernard! Everybody's fed up with these ghastly students. They're just exhibitionists, you know. Well, in this case, it would seem they have something to exhibit. <laughs> <laughs> it's to be a nude protest vigil. I see. Yes, that would make the front pages. Yes, quite so. Well, the press just mustn't find out. Oh, really? I don't know what gets into these students. It's appalling. They're shameless. Indeed, Minister. It's their parents, you know. <laughs> they don't bring them up properly. Just let them run wild, and then feed them all this trendy, middle-class, anti-establishment nonsense. Well, perhaps it isn't entirely the parents' fault, Minister. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> authority, Humphrey. All this student anarchy is a shocking indictment of their parents' lack of authority and discipline. So they just take it out on innocent people like me. <laughs> Who are they? Do we know? Well, we know the young lady's name. Lady? Huh. Who is she? Well, it seems she's a Miss Hacker. I can't... Oh, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> that's a coincidence? Not a complete coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Lucy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. As you see, she will be telephoning in ten minutes' time. Perhaps the press won't be all that interested. No, yeah, that's not <laughs> But will they really think it worthwhile going all the way up to Warwickshire? For a story like this, I fear they'll think it worth going all the way to the South Pole.